Hey, what's up? Thanks for clicking on my video. I'm going to show you how to install voice meter banana. Voice meter banana is one of those applications that make you really want to scream when you're trying to install it. But voice meter banana is an incredible application and it's a free virtual mixer for your machine. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install voice meter banana. I'm going to try to keep it as really, really simple. I'm not going to get too complicated in this video. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrew Alliance and you'll find tech tutorials, gaming content and entertainment content on my channel. And in this video, we're going to go through how to install voice meter banana for beginners. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is download GreenShot. GreenShot is a very, very awesome screenshot tool. We're going to use that during this tutorial. So download GreenShot, install it. Okay. That's the first thing. The next thing we want to do is go to uh, vbaudio.com and install voice meter banana. So once you get to vbaudio.com, the website, you want to go to the banana tab and you want to install voice meter banana by using this installation here. So on the bottom here, it says a run set of program and administrative mode reboot after installation, which is very important after every bit of software that you install that's related to voice meter banana, you have to reboot your machine. Okay. So as we're looking at this here, it says reboot after installation and also says reboot after deinstallation. This is an installation tutorial. So we're working with this right now. It also says this package installs both programs. It installs the regular voice meter. It also installs the voice meter banana, which is what we are installing right now. So install this program. And after you install that, make sure you reboot. Once you reboot, you want to go to the virtual audio cable. Uh, make sure you grab that. Okay. Install that application and reboot as well. So you install voice meter banana, you reboot, you install the virtual audio cable, you reboot. After you come back from the reboot, the very first thing that you want to do is you want to check your global input and output settings. So you want to right click on your speaker, go to open sound settings. Once you get there, you want to make sure you set these up, go to sound control panel. And once you get to sound control panel, you want to make sure that you have the voice meter input as your default device under playback. Okay. And then once you do that, you want to head to your recording tab and you want to make sure that you have your voice meter output as your default device. Okay. And whichever mic that you're using under the recording tab, make sure you have that mic as your default communications device. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the playback tab real quick. One thing that you want to notice here, I know you noticed the uh, cable A and cable B here. Uh, these can be purchased on VB audio. I purchase extra cables, um, but you don't have to the first cable uh, that we talked about in the beginning. That's a free cable to use for a voice meter banana. Okay. So make sure you have voice meter input here as your playback. All right. And under the recording tab, make sure you have voice meter output and whichever mic that you're using, make sure that is your default communications device for your mic. So for me, my mic is the ATR 2100. That is my default communications device. Now there's a lot of different devices here. If you're not using them, you can right click and disable those devices and make sure that you don't see them or you can show disabled device if you do want to see them. So remember when we install the green shot application. So this is why we did that. So the playback and the recording, sometimes, you know, as we get familiar with the program, we forget what the input uh, or output that we set. So what I like to do is uh, go to the playback tab, hold alt and print screen and then save this window. Okay. For my setting. And then I do the same thing for the recording screen. I'll hold alt print screen and save that as well. So that way, if in the event I ever, um, you know, lose my settings uh, for voice meter, I could just go back to the picture and look at exactly what I have. So I always remember what those settings are. Now that we've done the input and output 
uh, setup for voice meter banana let's go ahead and do the actual uh, program configuration so start typing voice in your taskbar and you can either open it regularly run it as administrator uh, definitely pin it to either the taskbar or the start so you can easily find it okay so we're going to open the application itself okay so once you open it right you're going to be introduced with a program that's going to be uh, empty for the interface there's not going to be any items here uh, it's going to be empty at the top here there's not going to be any configurations done here uh, these uh, limiters here they're not going to be there right so it's going to be a plain uh, canvas if you will uh, as far as the application is concerned uh, the first thing the very first thing that you want to do once you start setting up voice meter banana is you want to pick an a1 which is going to be your first output okay so your first output you want that to be the best output uh physical output that you have uh in your possession okay so for me i opted to go with the optical uh cable for my a1 okay and then once you decide which driver to pick it's going to populate some numbers on this side for you okay so uh, wdm is the best driver if you have it uh, second best driver would be uh, ks uh, third would be mme so if you have wdm driver make sure you pick that across the entire application okay so we pick uh, your your best device that you have at your disposal okay in your possession so we pick that once you pick that is going to populate some numbers here and then from there, um, you have options of um, other applications, of other uh, hardware that you have, right? So if you have additional uh, headsets and things like that, you can put them uh, there as well. So for me, I opted to go with um, my second output, A2, okay, which is my uh, Logitech Pro X wireless, okay? That's my second output. My third output, is the astro a50s okay so my very first one is the optical cable uh, second one is the pro x uh, third one is the astro a50 all right so what does that mean so over here this main column here is your main output now that you've installed voice meter banana so all your sounds uh, will go through here but in order for you to hear those sounds, you have to monitor, you have to uh, add the A1, A2, A3 for the device that you want to monitor, okay? So if I wanted my optical cable to be monitored uh, by this here, if I was playing some music or something like that, so A1 would definitely be checked here, okay? If I wanted the Pro X to be a monitoring device here for the main output, I'll pick the A2, I'll select that. And if I wanted the Astro A50 to be a monitoring device for my main output, uh, my main output here, I would put A3, I'll select that here. So now you could do that across the board for any other uh, devices, okay? So you did install the virtual cable, right? So now you can select here and pick the virtual cable uh, from your selections here as a WDM device. Uh, and then also you add your microphone as a WDM device here. So you should have, uh, for your setup, you should have your mic set up here, your virtual cable set up here. This will be blank. If you decide to get additional uh, cables, you can install those, right? And then you have these numbers set up here and then you have your outputs there, okay? So now that you install the virtual cable, let's say you installed it on the second setup here, you could rename that uh, by right-clicking to whatever you decide to rename it, okay? And then from there, you would select your A1, A2, A3. If you only have one device selected here, one output, then you'd make A1, you'd select that here, so you can hear the stuff that comes out of your virtual cable, okay? Now for your microphone, if you wanna hear yourself, if you wanna monitor yourself, you would select A1, 
over here for your microphone if you have multiple devices that you switch uh, in between then you would select uh, a1 a2 a3 there okay so now if you want uh, let's say you're doing um, so we'll, we'll stop there. Okay, I was gonna go a little advanced, but I want to stop there. Uh, so so far you have your microphone set up, you have your your cable, your virtual cable set up, and then you also have uh, this empty slot here. If you decide to get additional cables uh, through VB Audio, you can get those cables, and then that's pretty much it from there, right? So when you're listening to music and stuff like that, and it's coming through your main uh, output here, and you have your A1, A2, A3 selected, uh, then from there, what you can do is you can, you know, mess with your equalizer, uh, treble and bass, you can, you know, change some settings there. Uh, I'm not going to go too advanced on this particular tutorial, uh, but uh, I'll give you a, a couple of uh, nuggets here. If you right click on the VU meter, right? then you could do uh, a limiter, right? I, I, I added negative three as the limiter. So any sound coming from this is not gonna go above that. You can right click on this meter and do the same thing. So you can uh, set those things up. And then when you're using this application on a regular basis, uh, the other thing that you wanna consider as well, if uh, your, your mic is low, um, you want to bring that up a little bit you can make adjustments uh, with the compressor by turning this knob here to make adjustments okay i don't think that's too advanced right so but i just that definitely want to give you that nugget here and then also when you go to the menu uh, you can uh, save your settings uh, so i know we took a picture with green shot i just wanted to have that as um, one backup but you can also save your settings uh, click here you hit save and then you save your settings wherever you decide to save your settings you could do that also you want to you can run it as um in a system tray you can do that as well you can run on windows startup so definitely check that and one of the new features that they added uh with uh, voice meter uh, banana very very recently on, on a recent update is the ability to lock the graphic user interface so basically once you do that you won't be able to make any changes uh, or accidental changes on the on the actual uh, mixer itself. So that is a great option to have. And if you decide to make changes in the future, you can just go to the menu, uh, unlock it, and then make the changes that you want to make, okay? So there's those things. I wanna make sure if there's anything I want to uh, share with you before, um, I just want to make sure I didn't, I didn't miss anything because because I know that uh, this particular application, you know, people struggle with it at times uh, when they're uh, setting it up and stuff like that. So I'm not going to get into the cassette tape um, sequence here. Uh, it is the ability to record if you wanted to record a podcast and stuff like that. I'm not going to get into that, but I wanted to keep it as simple as possible with this uh, tutorial. Uh, this is a tutorial for uh, Voice Media Banana. Uh, I try to keep it as simple as possible. I definitely want to hear your thoughts and comments. Um, if you want me to add um, additional tutorials on top of this one in the future, uh, just let me know. All right. Well, you stuck to the end. So congratulations. You get the bonus. I get to show you my Discord settings as well as my Zoom settings. All right. So first up is my Discord settings. As you can see, because we already set up the uh, default master input and outputs, I have everything default here and everything is working the way it should. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see my additional settings here. As you scroll down, I have uh, echo cancellation that is off advanced voice activity. That's off automatic gain control. That's off uh, enable quality of service, uh, high packet priority. That's off. And uh, that's pretty much it for my discord settings. Everything is uh, input device is default and output device is default, which is pretty much the same as the system. All right, so for uh, Zoom information, I'm gonna give you that as well. Uh, so for Zoom, if you look here, I have my speaker, it's the same as the system, and also my mic is the same as the system. Okay, so congratulations, you got the bonus because you stayed till the end. I'm going to post more content for you related to this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe for more tech tutorials and gaming content. Thanks for watching.